The East Carolina Pirates headed back to Boschimer Stadium today for another shot at North Carolina after losing 10-1 to the Tar Heels yesterday in Game 1 of the Super Regionals. The game remains scoreless until the third inning when lefty Kevin Brandt walks two batters and then gives up a hit to Kyle Seeger that scores two runs to put UNC on the board and up 2 nothing. In the sixth inning, UNC's Mark Fleury gets a double, landing him on second, followed by a single by Mike Cavasini, which scores Fleury putting another run on the board for UNC. That action would be followed by several more hits and runs for the Tar Heels in the sixth inning, including this three-run homer by Dustin Ackley, putting the count at 7-0 Carolina. Later, with the score 8-0 in the bottom of the eighth, Holman, Whitehead, and Wood get three singles in a row for the Pirates, loading the bases. Then, after striking out Stephen Batts, UNC decides to let Adam Warren call it a day after seven full innings pitched and giving up only five base hits. With the bases still loaded and lefty Brian Warren taking over at the mound, Kyle Roller hits a fielder's choice that puts digits on the board for the Pirates, making it 8-1 Carolina. The Pirates managed to get two more runs in the eighth, but in the end, they were just no match for the superior Tar Heel pitching and hitting. The last run of the game was put on the board by Garrett Gore, who hits a home run to pound the nail in ECU's coffin. Carolina now moves on to the World Series in Omaha for the fourth straight time, the first ever ACC team to accomplish that feat. This has been Kim Reeves reporting for What'sUpGreenville.com.